What's up guys, I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're playing some PTCGO. It's been a little bit since we played. Uh, we're still running a Reshizar uh, deck. Um, that's all we can really build. <laughs> really lacking on uh, a lot of cards. Um, let's see, looking at some different lists from Worlds, I want to try some different things. We added, we dropped two choice helmets, added Lusamine, uh, just to help with trying to maintain that stadium control, and then if not, help us get some supporters. And then we added a Lysander Lab, uh, especially since we dropped our tools. So we'll see how that goes. Um, seems like the what I'm blocking is just some fire energy, so total, we are running 12 fire energy. So let's let's try this, uh, and we'll jump. We'll get back. We are back when we get into a game. There we go. All right, our opponent had a bunch of different types. Saw electric, water, metal. TCG dude, let's see what you got. <clears throat> hmm, I'm not crazy about this hand. Oh, he has some cool, cool sleeves. All right, so he has a Reshizard as well. Rishisar Mirror is I find always kind of interesting because, you know, what is beyond using a powered up double blaze, like the flare strike will just power him up that an outrage, a crackback of an outrage would almost one shot you. So it's, I feel like it's all about jockeying for position and trying to set up so that you can double blaze, power up double blaze GX your opponent before he can do that to you and then the momentum will carry you for the rest of the match. I do like the fact that I have the Vulcanian. Ooh, Heatran. Should I mix a Heatran? Do I even have a Heatran? <laughs> this is a pretty cool card. Uh, um, Shintara Ito, I got second place. I feel like, I think he used it pretty well. Once in your turn, when this Pokemon moves from your bench, it's kind of like Tapu Koko, only you have to do the retreat yourself. Uh, but basically, you just slap all the things on him. His Hot Burn GX is really strong. What, what did it, my opponent just do? Oh, Dedene. Uh, a lot of people run these Dedenes. And that's why like the price is so high for Dedene right now. Um, I think I only have like one, but... Uh, maybe that's something I could add in too. Just no, I guess there's no good reason not to. have a lot of Cherish Balls to get them out when you need them. All right, so he's setting up for a easy turn two knockout. If he does that, I am per. Oh, nope. All right, that's fine too. Oh, I forgot how long these Jirachi decks <laughs> take. Oh, and I miss I miss playing Jirachi when I used to use uh, Pika Ram Zapdos Jirachi, um, and my <laughs> turns always take long. Then when I'm on the receiving end of it. Oh, it's kind of can be, can be painful sometimes. It takes forever. All right, finally. Ooh, giant hearth. Very nice. Got a bunch of welders. Ah, oh, we really need the cherish ball. So I guess let's see if we can get the greens. I guess we'll have to use that to get it. What is the other thing we want? I wonder. Oh, there's like a nine tails. I don't remember what nine tails does. Um, I wonder. Can we forego this? Since, um, like we do have this instead. Yeah, I never like discarding cards. <laughs> Let's use this first. Let's see what we want. Cherish ball. Opponent isn't using any tools, so Lysander Labs doesn't really do anything. Um, is healing going to be important in this matchup? I don't think so. Reset stamp, no, I don't think I'll need that. Let's get a custom catcher. Get that ready. <clears throat> Because I can set up for turn 2 Double Blaze GX. I 
All right, the question is, will my opponent allow me to keep this in play so I have enough energy? Should I play it safe and get a bunch more fire energy? Eh, actually, yeah. let's go with this. It's kind of awkward, but let's just churn through a bunch of cards in my deck. We should have, we do have four fire crystals, so if I really don't want to lose any of these other cards, I can just drop both of these. I'm not sure if this is a correct. In fact, it, it makes a, the, the giant hearth like not usable after a while. But I do like this approach of get all my fire energies out of the deck, so I can uh, then you know maybe the the goal is to swap into just a different uh, stadium. All right, so I do have. Turn two, if I can get a custom catcher, then I can take the three prize knockout next turn. Alright, so this is a pretty awkward spot. I do need that second custom catcher. And then even if I get it, he can still hot burn GX me pretty easily. Hmm, awkward, awkward, awkward. Let's see, I think there's four more energy in there. Let's welder first. Do I want to get all my fire energies out of there? I'm pretty sure I have four more. Um, I don't see why not, I have the fire crystal. It's only one. Alright, and at that point I might as well play this. So I wasn't able to get... So this puts me in a very precarious situation. Uh, actually though, he's kind of choked on... At best he could only flare strike me, so that's okay. Hmm, interesting. So if he puts out Reshizard, I definitely can double blaze GX. He definitely cannot, as far as I can tell. All right, so maybe this is fine. Ooh, all right. If I can get that, as long as Charizard survives, which I'm not sure how he could not, I think I can take three prizes next turn. Yeah, he can only ramp up for a flare strike. Which is fine. I'll double blaze. And then I have Volcanion to And I mean that's that's fine with me too. Alright, here we go. Now we just have to wait. The wait game begins.
All right, let's see. Is it just go time? Let's do this first. And might as well do this. Another Reshizar, sure. So we're gonna need this on here. Then we'll take out his Reshizard. Do I want to welder anything? Pop this acro bike. Looking for another crystal, another welder. Don't think we need three Reshizards. Might as well take that. Um Do I want to get rid of this at this point? I feel like I'm in pretty firm control. So let's just get rid of that. In case there is a way he can draw out. Um, maybe I'll just drop my welder, even though I can only do it for one energy. But that's okay. I want to save the greens in case I need a double custom catcher next turn. Huh, there's one of them. Alright, so let's do this. To grab you and knock you out. Alright, things are going well. So the the inclusion of Lusamine and an additional stadium, like this is not a very good example because all the stadiums benefit both of us. But the idea of like, I'm trying to erase his and he erases mine constantly. Um, you know, so it's a, I think that Lusamine is a pretty cool inclusion. Not my idea, but. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> I have a fully powered Reshizard and oh, yep, there we go. Hmm. Pretty straightforward match. Um, I'm not sure why he went in with that heat trans, so pretty straightforward episode. Um, but uh, yeah, maybe we'll just leave it at that for now. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping to put more PTCGO content for you guys together. A couple people have reached me on Instagram and asked about you know if we can face off together. Uh, again, I'm totally up for that. Uh, just currently, my current schedule is very random. Like weekends are kind of booked for me for the next maybe month or so and during the week like I don't know if I find a half an hour I'll just play a couple matches so I'm totally up for it and um, you know well let's try to set something up but my my schedule is just a little hectic at the moment but either way guys um, thanks for watching I'm Moana Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time <laughs>